Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Gumpla News episode 46 for April 2019. Uh, I didn't do an episode last month because honestly, I just kind of forgot about it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do an episode next month, though I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to be out of town near the beginning of the month when I usually like to do this video, so I may not do it next month. I'll talk about that here in just a moment because that's related to some news. But as usual, we're going to go through the five parts of this month's episode as usual with the Gunpla news here. So we've got first just some news related to stuff. Uh, then we've also got uh, announcements, a bunch of new announcements. And because I haven't done one of these in a while, there's a lot of new announcements to get through. So that particular segment is going to take uh, extra long. Uh, then we've got some updates, things that are, have been coming out. We just have some updates on those. And then third party stuff. I'm actually going to skip that part this month just because there's so much stuff in the announcements. And there's not really been a whole lot in the way of third party or resin kits, things like that to talk about. So we're going to skip that section for today. And then uh, we'll maybe have a couple of featured kits there at the very end for the feature section. I have a, a few here on hand, but I think we'll maybe just do a couple just to keep this episode from being too ridiculously long. Because like I said, there's a lot of stuff to get through. But let's just start off with the news. Uh, so a couple things there. Uh, the Recently, the Kotobukiya contest that I had finished last month, about a month ago. Uh, but I'm going to have a new contest kicking off probably around the end of this month. So right around the end of April, look forward to the announcement of the next contest. And I'll, there's not really much to say about it at this point, but just that's when the next contest is going to be kicking off. So uh, the other thing is that if you didn't see my video that I just recently put up uh, announcing that I've got some new shirts, I've got some new t-shirts on my store. Those are a collaboration uh, with my friend Armando, who's done a t-shirt artwork for me uh, on our store before. So again, that uh, the proceeds from that, the profits from those t-shirts do go to him. Uh, so if you want to support an uh, awesome Gundam artist, then uh, make sure to check out those t-shirts. And they're just awesome shirts as well. So check those out. Uh, a new Gundam Cafe opened in Osaka. So if you're traveling in Osaka and you wanted to check out uh, what the Gundam Cafe is like or just see what this particular branch of the Gundam Cafe is like, uh, it's opening in the Dotonbori district. So it's kind of very right near Denden town is right in the same kind of area where you would normally go for your Gunpla shopping in Osaka. So it should be all right around the same area. And last thing here is uh, why I'm going to be out of town next month is I'm planning to go to the Shizuoka Hobby Show. Yay! Uh, I'll have a no, I'll have a separate video talking more about that probably in the next couple days where I'll talk to you guys some more about that, what my plans are and everything for that. But I've wanted to go for a few years and I think this is finally the good chance for me to go. Uh, so yeah, next month uh, that'll be the May 10th, 11th, 12th, I think I'm thinking is when I'm thinking I'm going to be going there to Shizuoka. So never been to Shizuoka, never been to Shizuoka, actually, uh, many times that I've been to and lived in Japan. Uh, but Shizuoka is, uh, as far as I know, not really a whole lot there other than the Bandai Hobby Center and uh, the Shizuoka Hobby Show annually right around this time of the year. So uh, like I said, I'll have a video talking more about that uh, very soon. So look forward to that. Uh, and I'll talk about what my plans are for that. Anyway, let's get into the announcements because like I said, there's quite a lot of these. So the first thing is a new Metal Build Strike Gundam coming out in June for 1600 yen. Now, previously the Metal Build Ale Strike Gundam has been out. This is a particular version of the Strike Gundam without the Ale Pack, as far as I can tell. And it's going to be sold exclusively at the Metal Build Infinity event in June. So it's got some different markings on it. So it's just kind of a special limited version of the Metal Build Strike Gundam there for that. Uh, there's also the Fixed Figuration Metal Composite RX-782 Gundam, which has been previously released a couple years ago now. Uh, it's like the origin version of the RX-782. But now they're coming out with a 40th anniversary version. So again, this one as well. Also just having basically some different markings on it as far as I can tell. And I think this maybe just does come with a few different things here. I think it looks like the Core Fighter is maybe a little bit different and some other parts I think maybe, maybe it might be a little bit different, but... Uh, again, just a different version of the Fixed Figuration Metal Composite Gundam there. That's out in July for 18,000 yen. But for a new Fixed Figuration Metal Composite, they're coming out with the Sharzaku 2, the origin version. So this one also looks really awesome. This one's out in August for 20,000 yen. So of course it's just packed with detail uh, and really nice markings and everything. So if you like collecting these kind of like figure things like that, and don't mind spending a little money, these Fixed Figuration Metal Composite uh, figures do look really, really nice. 
Uh, there's also the Metal Robots Damashi Liu Bei Gundam. This was just recently announced. We don't have a price or an, a specific announce or a specific release month for this yet. Uh, but it's it's one of those ones where it's taking like an SD design and turning it into like a full like normal uh, proportion Gundam design, kind of like with the Knight Gundam, which we'll talk about later in the updates. Uh, but the next thing is the Robot Damashi RX seventy eight two Gundam version anime. Real type marking version. So there's a, a lot of announcements of basically just kind of different marking versions, things like that, for this month. But uh, this one, yeah, just the uh, RX-782 Gundam version anime with some different markings. Also has a couple different parts. It said a couple different parts for like the head and knees, I believe, on this particular model. This one is out in April for 4,500 yen. Uh, and then there's also the Robot Damashi Zaku 2 version anime real type marking versions. So this one as well, just different markings. And this one also said it had a little bit different molding on the head and the legs of this one as well. So this is out in April, also for 4,500 yen as well. So both of these are going to be sold at the opening of the Tamashi Nation's Tokyo flagship store there in Tokyo. So they're going to be uh, just limited items there, of course, but you guys should be able to search those out through some sort of proxy sellers or aftermarket, something like that, if you're not able to attend the store at that time uh, later this month. Anyway, uh, and then Gundam Universe. Gundam Universe is this new line of figures that are like larger than Robot Damashi, so they're more similar to like a Master Grade size, as far as I under can understand it. And as far as I have heard, as well as I've seen online, this information is that this particular line is uh, particularly tailored to... Uh, be more attractive to customers outside of Japan, especially in the Western uh, market. So these are a little bit larger size and a much cheaper as well. They're all listed as 3,000 yen for the list price for them. So they're going to be very affordable. And so far they're starting off with, of course, all like the most popular Gundam designs, of course. So the first wave is out in June. That is going to be the ARC-782 Gundam and the Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode and the Wing Gundam. So obviously three of the most popular Gundam designs uh, in the in Japan, too, and in the West, for sure. So that's going to be the first wave out in June. Again, 3,000 yen each for those. And then the second wave is out in October. These are all also all still 3,000 yen. The second wave is going to be the Death Scythe, of course, another very popular design in the West. Uh, the Barbatos and the Unicorn 02 Banshee. So, of course, they've got to milk the Banshee there as well. Or milk the Unicorn, I should say. But... Same difference, right? So uh, those look kind of interesting. And the price point, you know, 3,000 yen for a good size figure. And they look pretty nicely detailed as well. So they don't look too bad. Um, getting into some uh, Mobile Suit Ensemble things. We had an announcement of a Mobile Suit Ensemble Versigo Gundam. But no release date or price set for that yet. But we do have more information here about the Mobile Suit Ensemble Opsilus 2. This one's out in July for 4,500 yen. Uh, Opsilus 2, I love this design, and I really wish we could get a proper kit of this at some point in time. But uh, the Mobile Suit Ensemble line, first the Mobile Suit Ensemble line came out with the Gundam Inlay, which was awesome, but just crazy expensive. And I just don't really like the look of the Ensemble line, to be honest. I don't like all the hard points all over. It kind of takes away from the look of it, in my opinion. So first they came out with the Inlay, which is a design that I love, in a line that I don't like. And now the Opsilus is another uh, design that I love, and I line that I don't really like so it's just kind of sad days for me but this does look nice and it comes with the Zaku which you can actually take out of there which is not actually a, a, the, canonically there's not just a Zaku riding inside of there it's just the Zaku head on top of the mobile armor basically but uh, the cool thing about the Zaku that's inside of there is that it's the uh, high mobility test type Zaku that Aina pilots in the first episode of Gundam 8th MS team so the color is a little bit different uh, but the design is is that particular design. So it's cool that it's not just like a standard Zaku 2, that it is an 8th MS team kind of themed Zaku 2 there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to Mobile Suit Gundam Micro Wars Volume 2. This is a pretty interesting line of candy toys as well. Or candy toys? Are these candy toys? I guess so, right? Uh, these is, this is going to be out in July for 5,400 yen for a set of 10 of them, so about 500 yen each. For these, this set includes the Ground Gundam, the GM, the Hover Truck and Pilots, the Goof, and the Xeon Kui and Pilots set. So four different sets of theirs. If you buy a box, you'll have obviously doubles of a couple of those. Uh, so interesting those. 
then gonna converge series 16 is coming out in august for 5400 yen and for me personally kind of one of the least interesting series of converge to come out in a while uh, it's got the banshee norn in a destroy mode it's got the neo gundam the versigo uh the gog and the Danan Zan and the Danan Zan a Black Vanguard version. So personally, not a big fan of the Danan Zans. Uh, the Gog also not really too into that one, as I think a lot of people probably aren't. Uh, and the Versigo does look pretty cool. The Banshee Norn, of course, looks awesome. The Neo Gundam as well, I, I kind of like. So I don't know. This one, I'm not actually sure. As much as I love Converge stuff, and it's really hard for me to pass up anything Converge, uh, I'm kind of still on the fence personally as to whether I want to get this set or not because I'm not really too into some of that stuff. That's just me personally. Anyway, the last thing here as far as like uh, figures and candy toys and stuff like that is concerned is the Exceed Model Head Gundam Head, Exceed Model Gundam Head Volume 2 is coming out. These ones as well. I haven't seen the release date for this, but uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, these are coming out in July for 500 yen each, or you can buy them as a box of four like I did with Volume 1. If you didn't see that, I did do an unboxing review video of Volume 1. Uh, if you buy them online, you'll usually just buy a box of four of them. So you'll get the three and then plus one double. But in this case, it's got a couple of them here and then one secret version. So I don't know what the secret version is going to be, uh, but it's just got like the anime color version of the arc 782 and then it's got the heavy gundam it looks like and the other one looks to be like it's the gundam local type from gundam the origin and then the last one there is a secret version so there is a fourth one so i don't know if you buy a box of four if that is a guarantee that you'll get the secret one or not i don't know i, I couldn't say but uh the secret one i would imagine probably is another visored gundam like the heavy gundam and the uh, um, gundam local type so it's probably something like that. But the cool thing is that the Heavy Gundam actually does have some different molding on the head. It's not just a color swap. Uh, like with the local type, it basically looks just like a color swap with the addition of the visor. But with the Heavy Gundam, it's got actually different vents on the side and it doesn't have the Vulcans on the top of the head. So pretty cool, interesting differences there in the head. So I don't know, it does look pretty nice, pretty interesting for volume two there. Um, and all right, let's get into the kits, all the kit announcement stuff, and there's a lot of them. First, there's a whole bunch of new stuff coming to uh, Gundam Base for Gundam Base exclusive stuff, and there's a whole bunch of P Bandai stuff, and then we'll get into all the other new release stuff and things like that. So, um, first thing though, this is something interesting is, is the Mobile Suit Gundam Internal Structure RX 782 Gundam. Uh, this is out, supposed to be out in August, but we don't have a list price for this or really much information yet about this at all as to what it even is. That I've seen, it's basically just what you can see there in the picture. It just looks like a, a clear fixed pose like RX-782 model that you can just paint or there, there's one that's like half painted or I don't know if that's like half molded in color or half pre-painted and half clear. It's, it's really hard to say but if what it is, what I'm thinking what it might be is just a like clear fixed pose model of the RX-782, just sort of like a, a commemorative kind of thing. It's not really meant to be like a full action posable like model kit, but just like a, a uh, just commemorative statue sort of thing like in clear of the Gundam that you can choose to paint or not if you want. If that's what it is and it's, you know, only, you know, 1500 yen, 2000 yen maximum if it's like master grade size, then that'd be cool. I mean, it looks nice and the proportions, the details, everything look really cool in it, but I, we don't really know exactly at this point, or at least I haven't seen any more information about what exactly that's going to be. Uh, but I'm interested to see what, what that ends up being. All right, so getting into all the Gundam base exclusive things. Uh, these are all Gundam Base exclusives that are out this month for the month of April. We got the Haropla Painting Model Clear and White sets. This is a set of two Haropla. One is in uh, clear, so it has like a clear shell on it. And the other one is in white, so they're kind of meant to be meant to be painted. Kind of like the painting model version of the uh, RG. Was it the RG or the HG? HG? Uh, I think it was HG. HGC Unicorn Gundam that came out uh, last year. That was just molded like in white and gray. Uh, so this one, yeah, it does look, it's cool. It's an interesting, unique set of the Haropla. The clear shell one does look pretty cool. It'd be great for showing off that internal detail in there. Uh, but this is for 1,000 yen, so not too bad price for that, of course. Next thing is the RG Banshee Norn Destroy Mode Lighting Model. So like we had with the Unicorn Gundam Lighting Model, this is the Banshee Norn version of that. It doesn't transform. It just stands there in its pose, but it's a fully lit up RG version of the Banshee Norn here. So this one is, like with the Unicorn Gundam, going to be coming in at 10,000 yen. 
then we have the Master Grade Psycho Zaku Verka clear color version coming out for 9,000 yen. It's basically just the same model, but just in clear color as, as they do. Uh, so there's that, and then there's, this is a kind of interesting, this is the Master Grade uh, MS Cage coming out for 2,000 yen. So this is the same MS Cage that came with the Unicorn Gundam before, so this is the first time that it's going to actually be sold on its own separately, so that's really cool. The only thing is that it's going to be a Gundam Base exclusive item, but the other cool thing about it is that it does also come with a set of 100 scale figures with this as well. It's got a couple figures there of Benajer, it's got one of Audrey, one of Marita and one of Cardius Vist. Um, unfortunately, it's Marita in like her episode one outfit there, like with the hat and the like dark trench coat. Uh, not my favorite version of Marita, but still a pretty cool that she is included in there. Uh, so yeah, I, I actually really want to get my hands on this. So if any of you guys are traveling to Tokyo Gundam Base anytime in the near future and would be able to help me out in getting one of these, then let me know because I would like to get my hands on one of these. And 2,000 yen, this is a fair price, I think, for that. It's not bad. Uh, and then the next thing is HGC Phoenix Gundam uh, Destroy Mode Narrative Version Final Battle Version. It's quite a mouthful for 2,800 yen, so basically just a green Psycho Frame version of that particular kit, and obviously not the gold-plated version, just the gold molding on that. And then the last Gundam Base exclusive here is HGC Narrative Gundam C Packs Clear Color Version. And if you thought the C Packs uh, looked kind of weird in its coloring, just as the normal kit, and you thought it looked like like strawberry jam or salmon slices or something like on it with the Psycho Frame, I gotta say it definitely looks even weirder with it being in clear color, that kind of like uh, clear white kind of color, and then the Psycho like pink Psycho Frame, everything looks very. Mm. Strange, interesting, let's say. Uh, but that's gonna be coming out for 2,300 yen. All right, let's get into all of the P-Bandai stuff that has been announced. So the first thing here, uh, starting with uh, the Master Grades, and we have the Master Grade GM Cold Districts type coming out in June for 3,900 yen with all the different versions of the Master Grade gym that we've been getting lately, especially after the um, gym command that we had out. It was seemed pretty obvious that we we're gonna be getting a Cold Districts type at some point. And it's finally out, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, I enjoyed the high grade. It's like one of the cheapest high grades that you can get from the HGC line, and it, it's actually not really a bad kit. It's one of the first kits that I ever painted, actually, uh, going way back. But the master grade version does also look pretty nice. It has the addition of the uh, grenade launcher or grenade uh, attachment there on the rifle, which the HG kit didn't have. So that's kind of cool. Next thing is the Master Grade Gym Sniper 2 Lido Wolf Custom, so another variant of the, the same kit. And this one is basically just a color swap. As far as I can tell, no different parts with this at all. It's just different colors. Uh, and it also comes with different uh, markings for it. So it will have a unique set of uh, waterside decals included with this. This one is coming out in July for 3,700 yen for that one. Then, uh, a little bit more interesting, this one is the pre Premium Bandai Master Grade Rija Z Custom. So the Master Grade Rija Z is a pretty widely known to be one of the worst Master Grades out there, but this looks like a very heavily retooled version of that. Uh, as far as I know, the basic frame and mo like the basic elements of this kit are still the same, but there's a lot of stuff changed on it. Like the shoulders, the head, the waist, and the legs, so like pretty much a lot, more than 50% of the kit looks like completely redone. For this and of course it has uh, just a whole bunch of new parts so a lot of very new different design it has the very interesting was that like ak-47 style weapon uh and yeah it looks really cool i don't know it's, the colors are really wild and out there for me i would definitely have to think about a new color scheme for this but i'm at the, i'm actually kind of on the fence whether i want to pick that up or not uh, but that's coming out in may for 5500 yen so it's not too terribly expensive either if you can get it for anywhere near that list price uh, but then we have the Premium Bandai Master Grade Shenlong Gundam Laoya unit. Laoya unit. This is out in May as well for 4,500 yen. Uh, I like this. The the Laoya unit uh, came out before some third party company, some bootleg company out of China made a like just part set for that years ago. And I heard from the reviews at the time that it was pretty garbage, but. It's finally coming out from Bandai, and hey, maybe this is this means that we'll get more versions like this with like some of the like the option equipment like from Glory of Losers. Some of the other suits have some different kind of equipment for that. 
So hopefully we'll see some more in the future. This is just the first of more to come. I don't know, fingers crossed, but I've never built just the Master Grade Shenlong Gundam, so I'm planning on picking this up just because I can have a chance to check out the Shenlong Gundam and then also check out this new version of it with some new parts there. It's basically just this new big sword on a rope thing that it's got, uh, but it looks pretty cool. Next one is the P-Bandai Master Grade 00 Quanta Full Saber Special Coating Version. Coming out in July for 11,000 yen, so $110 or so at list price. Expect to pay probably something more along the lines of $150 for this, if not more, if you're living outside of Japan. But yeah, it's just a special coating version of the uh, Double Quanta Full Saber. So it's going to be very shiny and glittery and all that. So next thing we have the Premium Bandai RG Gundam Astray Gold Frame Amatsuhana. It's different from the Amatsumina. The Amatsuhana is in white instead of black. And that's pretty much the only difference here. It has a lot of cool markings on it, I guess, but they're all going to be in sticker decals, not water slide decals. So there's that. This is out in June for 3,000 yen. It's very white. Uh, there's a Premium Bandai RG Gundam Exia Repair 3 out in June for 2,800 yen. So with the Exia, we've obviously had different versions of this out <laughs> over the years since this came out. I don't know when did the... RGX had come out in 2014 or something like that probably, so it's been a while. But uh, we're still getting different variants, so we're finally getting the XCA Repair 3 here out in June for 2800 yen. Very reasonable if you can, again, get it near that list price. It shouldn't cost you anything more than 50 bucks or so, even outside of the US, I imagine. Uh, outside of Japan, I should say. And then we have the Premium Bandai HGC Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility Destroy Mode. So this is one of those things where they take an item that was originally just a Gundam Base exclusive and then bring it to the Premium Bandai store. So this is just the HGC version of the Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility. Uh, and yeah, for a very reasonable price, I think 3,500 yen for that coming out in July. Uh, so with the HTC Destroy Mode Unicorn Gundam and then all the extra parts and things like that. So 3500 yen, I think not too bad uh, for that set. Then we had a whole bunch of new uh, Advance of Zeta stuff, which is always good, but it's really mm, interesting here. So let's get into it here. The Premium Bandai HGC Hazel Custom with TR6 Got Plants 2 conversion parts. This is out in May for 1500 yen. So it's basically just the exact same normal release kit of the Hazel Custom, but you get an extra little, tiny little runner with just some connection parts on there that you, you can use with your Premium Bandai HGUC Wound Wart kit to turn it into the Gaplant 2, the TR6 Gaplant 2. And so, yeah, you kind of have to have like a lot of kits and kit bash them together to make the Gaplant 2. Uh, or you can use this to make other different kit bash kind of variant things as demonstrated in this particular image here from Nageki Hobby. Uh, so it's an interesting set and I'm glad that they're doing it. I kind of wish they would have just released this as like just a small parts set maybe with this, just that runner and then maybe like another parts, extra parts to make like an extra blade rifle or an extra parts or something or release this together with the Hududu which we'll talk about in a moment but so there's that, and then there's, that's a, just 1,500 yen though, so it's, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, and then there's the uh, HGC Advanced Hazel with the same conversion parts. So they're releasing the Hazel Custom and the Advanced Hazel, just releasing them as P-Bandai items by just including this extra uh, runner of connection parts to make the Got Plan 2. So uh, the Advanced Hazel though is out the next month, out in June, for a little bit more, uh, 1,700 yen for that one. Uh, but then, as I just mentioned a moment ago, we're also getting the Premium Bandai HGC Hrududu. So we're getting, like with the Master Grades, we're getting both different color versions, the regular version and the combat deployment colors. Uh, the regular version is out in May, the combat deployment colors is out in June. So to kind of coincide with the Hazel Custom and the Advanced Hazel. Uh, so this is, yeah, going to be 1100 yen for this, and I really wish that they would have just kind of skipped the whole, like, P-Bandai re-release of the Hazel Custom and the Advanced Hazel, because there's nothing going to be different about those particular kits. Uh, if they wanted to release the just the conversion parts, the connection parts, uh, just put it in with the Hrududu. I think that would have made a lot more sense, but hey, that just maybe makes too much sense, I guess. So uh, you, you can get the Hrududu or you can get two Hrududus to connect them together, and you can make, of course, the Hazel Ra and all sorts of different Hazel variants and things like that 
with these. So it looks awesome. Uh, the last P-Band I think here is from HG The Origin. It's the Zaku Cannon Ian Graydon Custom. So we had this out as a Master Grade Premium Bandai release not too long ago. Uh, now it's coming out as the uh, the HG The Origin version as well. Here, so this is coming out in June for 2200 yen, just kind of a different color scheme and different markings for that. So, perfect kit for a premium bandai release, really. All right, now finally, let's get into some of the actual just standard release stuff. And there is some interesting stuff here still to come. So, uh, we do have some stuff to look forward to, even if you're not a big fan of P Bandai stuff. So, the first thing is a new high res kit, the high res uh, Gunam Astray Noir. Not totally new, it's just a variation of the Astray, but of course quite a few new parts in there to make all the uh, Noir parts for that. That's going to be coming out in June for 1600 yen. Uh, and then there's the Master Grade Gundam Alex version 2.0. So again, I haven't done one of these news episodes for a while, so a lot of these things won't really particularly be news to you guys. A lot of you already know all this stuff is already coming out, but... I haven't talked about it in Gunplay News before yet, so that's why I'm going to talk about it, this stuff now. But anyway, the Master Grade Alex version 2.0 is coming out in June for 5,800 yen. We've all been seeing a bunch of pictures of it online already, so it, again, it's not totally news, but it does look really nice. Uh, some of the just overall proportions and details of the kit itself uh, don't really look great, in my personal opinion. It kind of reminds me a lot of the uh, Robot Damashi version anime line where they have like the version anime figures there in the Robot Damashi line are kind of modeled to look like their anime depictions. And this kind of looks like that too. This is, looks like it's like a master grade version anime of the Alex. And so I kind of wish that they would have uh, just maybe, I don't know, made the design a little bit more, I think it just uh, sharpened it up a bit. I don't know, it looks like Block really big and blocky in the chest and the shoulders and like the forearms look have that kind of like weird like bulbous round feel to them sort of I don't know so just the the overall shapes and I, I think it's it's accurate to the original artwork I think but I wish that they would have gone a little bit off of the original artwork to just make it look a little bit more modernized I guess maybe is the right word for it but that said it does look like it has a lot of really cool gimmicks with uh, all of the armor for it it's got the new armor for the face which I think I read online that that is something that only was in the manga adaptation or something like that because uh, it obviously didn't have that in the show it also comes with an option part for the broken v-fin and it has some different really cool gimmicks in the arms for the Gatling gun and the arms are like the the whole even outer armor can all open up uh, for that to be able to fire and also the shield the shield can open up when it's got the shield on the arm the shield can open up like a garage door for that to fire out through the shield so interesting gimmicks for that so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking the kit out it's gonna be interesting I'm 100% sure it's gonna be better than the original Master Grade Alex kit uh, but it'll be interesting. I don't know. I, I'm still not completely sold on the design, but the gimmicks do make it look really interesting. So there's that. And then to coincide with that, we're getting the R the RE100 Zaku 2 Kai. Now, I'm not particularly sure why they decided to release this as an RE kit and not a Master Grade kit based off of the 2.0 frame. Uh, I'm sure it's just got just enough differences in terms of the proportions and everything of that it just wouldn't fit the Master Grade 2.0 frame. And Bandai likes to release these kind of the Master Grade and RE kits to kind of coincide together. So we're getting the Alex as a Master Grade and the Zaku Tukai as a RE. So anyway, that's just how it ended up being. So we were getting this out uh, one month later in July for 3,500 yen. Uh, it's going to be the first in the RE line to not use any polycaps, interestingly. So the articulation of it does look pretty nice and does look like it has some nice kind of uh, gimmicks in it and the construction of it does look pretty good except for the seam right down the middle of the shoulder Personally, I don't really like the design of the Zakukai that much at all anyway But I do like the fact that you do get the different options for the head because I like the other kind of like helmet head version more than the regular head Which looks like it's like a squished Zaku 2 head. So uh, Yeah, it, we'll see about that when that comes out in July uh, And another RE100 kit that's coming out earlier than that. It's coming out in May is the Vigna Gina 2 this is out in May for 3,700 yen. I'm very perplexed why this is not a P Bandai kit. Uh, this is coming out as just a standard release, which is good, I guess, if you're a fan of the Vigna Gina 2. I'm not sure how many Vigna Gina 2 fans there are out there, but if you are, then you should be happy this isn't a P Bandai kit, I guess. <laughs> but I really can't understand why they didn't make this as a P Bandai kit. It seems like it's perfect for P Bandai, but 
All right. I, I, I will say I do like the design more than the, the original version. So I'm on the fence about whether I want to pick this one up and check it out or not. I, I skipped the first version because I don't really like it at all. This one, still not totally into it, but it does look a little bit more interesting than the first one, in my opinion. Uh, we have a new RG, of course, coming out. The RG Crossbone Gundam X1 is out in May for 2,700 yen. Looks really cool. It's going to be very small. So a lot of the RGs, of course, like they like to pack a lot of gimmicks into RG kits. And packing a lot of gimmicks into a design this small is going to have a lot of really tiny parts, I think, for this kit. So anyway, it does look like they are packing a lot of gimmicks into it. Like the face actually opens up. Uh, it's not part swapping. It actually does open. So that should be interesting for how tiny that head is going to be. And then I think it's probably got more gimmicks that we're yet to see. Like if it's going to have like the scissor anchors in the front skirts, I would say probably going to have those. And of course there's like the knives opening up in the back of the leg and the knife blade sticking the foot. I'm sure all of these sort of things we can expect uh, to be included with this kit. And the other thing we can expect is a lot of variants of this coming out in the future. Uh, the X2, the X2 Kai, the X3, and whatever other versions we're going to get, there's going to be plenty of them to come out in the future. So that's something to look forward to if you're a fan of the Crossbone Gundam. And hopefully the kit is good. You can see that the uh, real grade inner frame for this, usually the uh, B runner on the real grade kits, is very minimal again. So it's Bandai's getting, getting kind of uh, getting away from the full movable inner frame for the RG kits, and they seem to be kind of minimizing that recently. So for better or worse, I think it's probably better in this case just because of the kits being so small. So that'll probably be good, I guess. And I love that it comes with a cape as well. The cape does look really nice. It's going to be just hard plastic pieces, it looks like, and not an actual cloth or soft rubber or anything like that. It could end up being rubber, though. I hope it really, I really hope that it isn't. It looks like it's just hard plastic, though. And I like the look of it. I think it looks good, so that'll be cool. Uh, getting into some HG stuff, HG UC Silver Bullet Suppressor is coming out in June for 2700 yen, and it looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. Among the kits that are coming out, this is probably one of the ones that I'm looking forward to the most, actually. Uh, I love the HG UC Silver Bullet, and this version does look really awesome as well. It's got a backpack with four extra arms, because I guess, apparently, it, it's, it's uh, Banajra Link's custom, uni uh, custom unit of the silver bullet and it uses the beam magnum but the beam magnum is too powerful the arm so it like kind of destroys the forearm every time that it fires a shot so it's got one extra arm for each shot of the beam magnum so that's kind of interesting so all the extra arms though aren't like articulated at the elbow so you can see like in the picture that they're just like a fixed elbow joint in there and it has like a rail system on like the back of it to like load up a new arm every time it fires so it's interesting so that's a kind of unique feature of that, but the design overall does look really cool, so I can't wait for that kit. Anyway, the HGC Unicorn Gundam 03 Phoenix Unicorn Mode Narrative Version Gold Coating version is out in August for 5,000 yen. It's the gold coating version of the Narrative Phoenix. That's all, and it's in Unicorn Mode. So anyway, another one of those. It's coming out, and then the HGC uh, Destiny Gundam Heine Western Flues Custom. So the Destiny Gundam is coming out pretty soon new HD version of that, um, and then there's, they're making a Heine, Heine Western Fluss, Western, 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 whatever, Heine's custom color version of this, and it's not P Bandai, that's good, but it is not going to be a full standard release, it is going to be a limited item, so kind of like with the real grade uh, uh, Unicorn Gundam Band Destiny version that came with the Armed Armor DE Shield, that was just a limited release kit, this is going to be like that, it's just going to be limited to just the initial release, and I don't think they're going to be making any more after that, it seems like. Uh, at least that was the case. They haven't remade the Band Destiny version of the Unicorn, so uh, if you want this color version of it, uh, paint the kit yourself or get this kit straight away. This will be out in July for 2200 yen, and uh, it looks like just a color, a color swap, nothing different about the actual kit itself, so you, if you paint, you can just paint yours like that totally by yourself anyway. We have the HGAC Gundam Sandrock coming out in the near future, but we haven't got an exact price or release date set for that yet. We've just seen this uh, sample prototype here, and prototype looks a little derpy, but prototypes usually uh, often look like that, but that's okay. That's coming out probably, I would say, later in the summer, I guess. And then we got a couple things new here with the SD Cross Silhouette line. We've got the Cross Silhouette Ground Gundam coming out in May for 1,000 yen. It looks pretty cool. It's got the backpack, and you can actually store the weapons and things in the backpack as well. 
and it looks pretty nice. The cool thing about that too is that if you have the uh, cross silhouette frame which comes with the extra GM head, you can put the GM head onto that. Now the GM head is different from the ground GM head that's meant to be on there, but if you still it's a very easy swap to just put the ground GM, uh, just to put the regular GM head onto that if you wanted to make a GM head ground Gundam. So that's just an idea anyway, but that, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, and there's also the Silhouette Booster White version coming out in June for 600 yen. Now this is just uh, some parts, extra parts to make some different hand options for the cross silhouette kits, as well as uh, some different like body parts to make like a cross silhouette gym, sort of. Not all the parts you need to make a gym, but make it to more gym-like. So it's got like parts for the chest and waist, things to make it look like a gym to go with your gym head. For so it's just basically extra parts set. Uh, for the cross silhouette line, so that's pretty cool. And the last couple things here are from the uh, recently started SD Sangoku Soketsuden line. The first one being the Sun Quan Gundam Astray coming out in June for 700 yen. Uh, it's, I don't know really what to say about that. Oh, with these kits, there's not really much to say, but there's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not planning on getting and reviewing any of these, so. Uh, don't expect to see them really much on my channel. I'm just not into them at all. But if you guys are, you know, they, they look pretty cool. They're pretty wild. And the other one here is the Machao Gundam Barbatos out in June for 700 yen. Also pretty interesting looking, I guess, if that's like the thing you're into. Uh, the clear mace looks pretty cool and like the clear toes on it as well. So it's kind of interesting design of the Barbatos there. So those will be out in June. All right, and then let's get into the updates. So there's some of these to go through. A bunch of this stuff, I'm just kind of going to blast through these. So we got the metal build, Gundam Astria plus Proto GN High Mega Launcher out in June for 2200 yen. Looks cool. Uh, I would like a kit of that. I, I, would, I would appreciate that. Then we've got the Metal Robot Damashi Destiny Gundam out in May for 13,500 yen. Certainly not cheap, but it does look very cool, of course, and certainly cheaper than the metal build version, so... There's that anyway. We got the Metal Robot Damashi Night Gundam Lacroix. Lacroix? Le Is that how that's pronounced? Lacroix? Le Hero version out in July for 13,000 yen. So, like I mentioned before, this is one of those ones where it takes like an SD design and turns it into a full size gun. I actually really like the look of this. It's pretty cool. Not really into like knights, dragons, wizards, that sort of whole motif. I don't really like that at all. Uh, but if I ever wanted a knight themed Gundam, I think it does look really cool actually. So, it's, it's a pretty, pretty interesting design. Uh, and just like all the weapons and the details, everything on that does look pretty nice. Then we got the Robot Damashi Ka Signature DJ, uh, narrative version out in June for 1100 yen. So just a basically color different version of there of the uh, Ka Signature DJ. And then the Robot Damashi Federal Army Weapons Set version anime coming out in May for 3500 yen. So it's basically just a bunch of different weapons to use with your EFSF or EFF uh, mobile suits there in the Robot Damashi version anime line. And then we've got the Robot Damashi Core Booster 2 set uh, version anime out in June for 6,000 yen. So a two set of the different Core Booster parts. Again, just parts for your version anime stuff. Uh, and then also we've got the RX-782 and G-Fighter real type color version anime coming out uh, for 13,500 yen. That will be out in July. We did get some new photos and information here about the Robot Damashi GP01 and GP02 version anime. So the GP01 is out in July for 6,000 yen, and the GP02 version anime is out in August for 7,200 yen. Obviously going to be more expensive as it's much bigger bulking or anything, whatever. So the GP01 and GP02 are coming out, and they look really cool. Nice additions to the version anime line. So those will be pretty nice figures. I'm not sure if the GP02 is really going to be able to hold the shield. Um, no other version of that design can ever hold a shield, so not sure if they're going to be making a way for it to do that in the version anime Robot Damashi, but next one is the Robot Damashi uh, Gundam Alex Full Armor Equipment version anime out in May for 8,000 yen, so just the version anime version of the uh, Alex there with all of all the different stuff that that comes with. And then a Cosmo Fleet Collection White Base 40th Anniversary version of uh, that out in May for 2,500 yen. And then getting into some other candy toy set stuff, we got the Mobile Suit Ensemble Volume 1.5 out in May for 2,400 yen. For a set of these is the Gundam G3, the G Fighter in G3 colors, the Unicorn Gundam in Awakening Mode, the Zaku 2 Marking Plus version, 
and then MS Weapons set in gunmetal colors for that. So basically there's some different color versions of those. And then a Gundam G-Frame Volume 6 is out in June for 5,400 yen for a set of 10 of these or 500 yen each. This would be including the Ground Gundam and the Gundam 05 and the Gun Cannon for those. So again, you'd have to have like set A and set B to make like the full version of the Ground Gundam. So for a set of 10 of them, you have like the three sets and you have two doubles of those. So anyway, that's how those go. If you haven't seen, I've done videos about the G-Frame uh, figures before. So if you are unaware of kind of how those work, feel free to check out some of those previous episodes. Uh, and then the Gashapon Senshi Forte Alpha A0, we got a release date and price set for that out in July for 4,700 yen. And man, is it an ugly design. I don't know, it just looks like something out of a really terrible cheesy 80s action like robot movie. It looks bad. Uh, but hey, if you're a big fan of Alpha Zero, that does... I mean, it looks like a nice figure. It's just a silly design. Uh, and then Converge Series 15 is out in May for 5,400 yen for a box of 10 of them. Really looking forward to this. It's got the Narrative Gundam C-Packs, the Gundam X Divider, Gundam X, the Silhouette Gundam, the Vertigo, and the Zigok. So that'll be a really nice set there of those. Looking forward to those. Uh, another just uh, regular... P Bandai stuff that's coming out in the near future. We've got the P Bandai RG Unicorn Gundam lighting model out in May for 10,000 yen. Again, that's one of those uh, that was originally an exclusive to the Gundam base, and now it's coming out in the P Bandai store. We got the P Bandai RG high mobility type Zaku 2, Eric Mansfield custom. So just a kind of ace pilot log MSV variant of the high mobility type RG Zaku that's out in May for 3,000 yen. And then we have the P Bandai HGUC DJ narrative version out in May for 2,000 yen. Again, just a color swap and a, a couple new parts for that, basically. So that'll be out in the near future. And then the regular stuff, we have the HGCE Destiny Gundam out in May for 2,200 yen. It does look pretty nice. Never really been that big of a fan of the Destiny. And I think the proportions when it's just standing look a little bit goofy. But posed up, it does look nice. And it's really cool they're actually including the effect parts with this. So you have the big... Uh, wing effect parts and then the hand like splooge effect part coming out of the hand there so that looks pretty cool and it's nice that those, those are included in the box so that'll be a cool set still no official word on the sdcs banshee but we do have news about the sdcs unicorn gunnam that's going to be coming out in june for 1000 yen of course it looks nice so that'll be cool and that is it for all the updates for now uh, like I said, we're going to skip over third-party resin stuff for this episode, and let's just take a look at a couple features here before we wrap up the episode. The first one here is a high-grade Jim Jim Gundam custom build by 320 Mo Design Factory. It's a really cool custom build here using the Jim Jim as the base, and then obviously a Gundam head for that, but uh, it's a kit batch of a lot of interesting parts. So it's got like uh, the Jim Custom Shield, and then the beam rifle of... Uh, what was the name of of that kit uh the g portent i believe that was right uh that's i think that's right i think that's the beam rifle from that kit i'm pretty sure that bazooka i'm not exactly sure where that bazooka is from that's from something else as well uh and the head the head i can't quite seem to put my finger on either but i know it looks familiar it's not the full armor seventh gun? No, it's not that. I don't think it looks. It look. It looks so familiar. Anyway, it's a really interesting. This kit in general is just a really interesting kit bash of parts. And the legs. I think those are the legs of the like the, of the leopard da Vinci. Anyway, really fantastic kit bashes. We put a bunch of different parts here together from a bunch of different kits, uh, and it works really well. The shield I'm not quite as sold on just because. The whole kit itself has this really kind of angular design all throughout. It's just very like, hard angles everywhere. But then you have this big round shield. It looks it looks a little bit tacked on. Where the rest of the design, design all does look pretty coherent. It all goes together pretty well. Uh, I think the shield, not quite as much. The triple beam uh, saber lance thing is also really cool. I think that was a, a parts set thing that came with like a kind of ace hobby magazine parts set that came out a couple years ago if I remember correctly. Oh, that's a pretty cool weapon there as well. So I really like this this take on the ARC-782 Gundam just kit bash with a lot of really interesting parts there for that. So really cool. If you guys know what that bazooka is from, also let me know. Or any of the other parts of the head or anything of this that you can identify, uh, 
feel free to put that down below. And the links, again, as always, the links to the feature builds will be down below so you can check out the pictures uh, more closely if you want to check those out. So uh, any of those parts that you guys can identify that I'm having trouble identifying at the moment, feel free to leave those uh, down in the comment section below. But let's move on to the Mastergrade Delta Plus by Attic. So the Mastergrade Delta Plus uh, up there gets a bad rap, but I it's a kit that personally I like. I think it looks fantastic. It doesn't have its flaws. Yeah, probably. Uh, and I've been meaning, uh, I plan to review that for you guys someday, I promise. But I built it ages ago, long before I was doing YouTube, so that's why I haven't done a review on that. But anyway, this particular build of this is fantastic and just goes to show that whatever flaws a kit may have, uh, that you can still make it look fantastic and amazing. So this build is really cool. It's got some customized bits on there as well, and it's got the inclusion of the... Um, Beam Gatling gun from the Unicorn Gunham, thank you. Uh, and just some extra details and things added like that, and it, it looks fantastic. I mean, it looks really cool, super clean, and everything on it just looks really, really nice. Uh, if you guys have never seen Attic's uh, work, I mean, follow him on, on Twitter, and check out the link to his site there down below. So it's, it's amazing work. He's definitely a, pro a professional builder for sure. So I know also this is not a recent build from him, but I just wanted to feature this just because I had seen it. Uh, posted again online recently and I, I just wanted to share it with you guys really really cool work on this but yeah do definitely do check out the rest of his work at the link below and last one we'll take a look at here today is the HG Lightning Gundam Heavy Weapons custom build here by Bai Yong Gantan Ha? Huh? I don't know exactly how to pronounce that I hope that's not too terrible anyway uh, we've taken a look at one of his builds before we looked at his uh, HG GNX 10th year anniversary commemorative build, custom build. Uh, that kit was fantastic, and this one as well. I really like this a lot. Uh, so it's just taking a lightning gun and just done tons of modification to it. And he also has here a bunch of uh, work in progress uh, pictures where you can see where all the modification is and like compared to the original build as well. So it's just really cool. It's, it's really great to see. Uh, pictures like this because then you can kind of really see where all the extra work and you can see really clearly where all the extra work went into us where he extended parts or added details or changed the proportions of things like that uh, so those pictures are always great to see and I, I like looking at those almost as much as looking at the finished product but the finished product looks really fantastic as well uh, the huge giant gun and I really love the use of the Dynamace uh, kind of wing shields on there as well I think uh, one of the things that I like about the Dynamace is is how well those Shields, I think, work great as just like kit bashing parts. Uh, so I mentioned that before that I think that those parts would look really good as like replacement wings on the Death Scythe instead of like the Death Scythe's normal wings. It's just an idea that I had that I uh, had mentioned in a past video before. But I think in, with this build as well, they're utilized really well. It's just like an optional set of like shield parts that kind of go on this as well. It's kind of this optional like backpack flyer unit thing for this so really really cool design and I love just all the modifications and everything to this so this is definitely one and there's a lot of pictures of this one so uh, make sure to check that out and there's just a lot of really great inspirational uh, or just kind of things that you can take away ideas that you can take away from this build so it, I, it's one of those ones that I really like uh, there's certain little bits here and there that I think I would have personally done a little bit differently some of the decals I think I, I definitely would have done a little bit differently but just the build itself is really, really cool. Of course, the giant gun is awesome. Uh, that's really cool. And just everything about this build is very interesting and really inspirational. So definitely check it out uh, if you want to get some cool ideas. So that is going to be it for this month's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching as usual. And like I said, uh, do check out the new t-shirts. And those of you guys who are buying those or planning on buying those or have bought those or have bought any shirts in the past, uh, there's other shirts on there available as well. Uh, just thank you guys all so much for that. And yeah, sometime in the next couple days, I'll have a video talking about what my plans are for going to Japan next month to the Shizuoka Hobby Show. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun, I think. And so I'll, I'll let you guys know more about that in the near future. And also, thank you guys all so much for all your really nice comments and feedback on the last few videos uh, earlier this week with the Tristan and the video talking about uh, who's the best Gunpla, Gunpla YouTuber or whatever. Uh, and like the other videos that I did, I got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback on those videos. And it was really great to just hear from you guys regarding those things and yeah it's great that the Tristan is done I'm looking forward to moving on with more Trash to Treasure series but I do have a lot of other projects going on at the moment so 
uh, a lot of things that I'm working on right now, and so I'm staying very busy. But uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of cool stuff, as always, in the works. So thank you all so much for your continued support, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time.